okay so this is uh, the first question uh, so i'm not actually talking about first question or second question something like that uh, the question numbers are given for uh, the answers and explanations for uh, june 2015 net so i won't be talking about the numbers accordingly just assume everything as uh, one single question and we'll try to answer those questions that's our goal here so first read the question glycolipids and sphingomyelin are produced by the addition of sugars or phosphor phosphoric phosphorylcholine to uh, ceramide on cytosolic and luminal surface respectively of the golgi apparatus finally after such modifications these molecules are located on the outer half of the plasma membrane what key event are responsible for such localization so what we are talking about here is the localization of proteins as well as localization of lipids not proteins localization of lipids in the plasma membrane that means we are talking about the membrane transport right the whole process of uh, not actually transport it's uh, is the intracellular transport mainly so if we take the cell and we know that proteins are made in er this is the nucleus in er and if i draw the golgi apparatus little bit here so let's say this is the golgi apparatus at the end and this is the cell membrane so it is telling us a uh, important fact and that fact is that uh, this glycolipids as well as sphingomyelins are produced uh, in the luminal cytosolic side and luminal surfaces respectively so if you take golgi apparatus it has two different sites one is the golgi lumen which is this one and cytosolic site which is this one right so luminal side and cytosolic side so if i say this uh, this glycolipids will be present towards the luminal side these are the glycolipids and on the other hand if i take another color this green this is uh, the sphingomyelin which presents and uh, facing the surface of cytosolic region right now they are telling us that finally after such modification these molecules are located on the outer half of the plasma membrane so both of this sphingomyelin as well as uh, glycolipids those will be uh, present at the outer surface of the membrane right so this is glycolipids sphingomyelin uh, right these are the two different so the question is what uh, what will be the process first is the membrane fusion only second is action of flipase and membrane fusion third is action of only flipase and fourth is flip flop of these molecules in the golgi membrane catalyzed by proton pump now the thing is just try to imagine the scenario according to the question glycolipids would be facing the cytosolic side while sphingomyelin would be facing the luminal side of the golgi now as the vesicle would be budding from golgi as we know that the vesicle will bud from golgi so let's say at the end the extension of the vesicle from Golgi will form uh, in the red color I, I must draw. In this, what we will have? We will have both of it, the sphingomyelin surfacing, uh, facing the surface, glycolipids in, in blue facing the inner side, the luminal side. So now the question is what mechanism it will follow? Now if it is only membrane fusion, try to imagine if, it, if this membrane only fuse with the cell membrane. In that case, which region will come outside? The cytosolic, the luminal side, the luminal side that is present will become the extracellular region, right? So the glycolipid will face uh, outside, will face the extracellular side. But as from the beginning sphingomyelin is present in the cytosolic side, this will become intracellular side when this membrane fused. So after this fusion only, what we will expect? We expect glycolipids to face the extracellular side and sphingomyelin to face the intracellular side. But according to the question, they are telling us that both of them should face the extracellular side. So only membrane fusion will not help. So we have a sphingomyelin facing intracellular region, which we need to flip to the extracellular portion. And for this flipping, what we need? We need a special molecule called flipase right a protein called flipase so what do we require we require membrane fusion along with flipase activity for this particular scenario so option two will be the correct answer rest of them are not correct